we were hit by a storm in our Mela camp and then we'd like to show you the damages that we received our community, our church member, our school member, our school staff and the school building this is uh, one of our staff house and this rooftop is gone and we show you the most damaged part which is our top school most of our top school rooftop are gone here is the first bedding the rooftop of the, the bedding is gone this is the place where we used to meet to worship the dumb students but seems like this summer we're gonna have a lot of you know replacing and fixing the bedding uh, meanwhile the second bedding of the top school no, there's a, just a little damage on it. It is not that serious. We show you the third bedding. Uh, the third bedding. This is where we used to have classroom. Three classroom in this bedding. Now the root of are gone. There's no more root of. Let me. Um. The uh, next building is our, our bakery where we used to give vocational training for bakery. Now the bakery, all the roof are off. The roof are on the tree now. Yeah, yeah. We have some, you know, tin roof and most of the roof are flying off here on the ground this is uh, our school building there is our you know school signboard at Valley academy presented by class of 2005 and 6. this building and the first building that i show you needs a serious restoration the roof the wood seems like everything need to be fixed here is a close look at the the roof you know, the wooden beam and then the entire roof take off by the strong wind the next building is our girls teens house seems like she cannot sleep if it rains again okay the dean said she needs prayer that she might not get another rain tonight the next building is our girl's dog our girl's dog About 40%, 50% of the roof are gone. It needs to be fixed. Uh, seems like tonight, most of the girls need to share their room. You know, <laughs> the first part, the first half of the dorm, uh, it cannot be used at the moment. Uh, here's another building that needs to be fixed. Uh, this is uh, our vocational teacher's house. She is teaching bakery class. Now her house was damaged by the storm as well. I'll show you other damages that we received uh, in our community.
the family members that live around our campus. This is one of the house. She just finished fishing her house two or three days ago. <laughs> now all the roof are gone as well. By God grace, our church pastor house is safe because his house is surrounded by trees and trees so he doesn't receive much wind so we can say that our pastor is blessed, <laughs> safe and there is, there is our anchor He's checking his house. <laughs> a big tree fell off right over there. And one of our students' house is this tree, which can say 50% of the roof is gone. Another building which needs serious restoration I think um, all the roof are gone let me show you okay from this point of view it is much clear all right there are you know damages around the camp but I cannot go everywhere and show you this is just a little snapshot of what happened to our community. Um, there are other places that you know, hit by the storm and all the and some of the buildings are destroyed. The church, the school, we like to, everybody to have prayer for those who are and I go in this tap tap and unfortunately one of our graduates class of 2021 uh, she was wounded by the tin roof her hands were struck by the tin roof and then now she is being sent to Mesa Hospital. We will update more information about her when we get official information contact from the hospital. Thank you very much.